Okay. So our first exercise is very, very easy. We're going to start with a balance and reach. Um, I have put my little slam ball out for me. If you want to put something out for you, you go right ahead. Left leg down, we're going to touch with the right side. Left leg is going to be directly in line with that ball. And I'm going to try to reach over to my left side to get that extending my right leg and right arm at the same time. So we'll do about 10. Left side, wow, great start for Tony. I want to get that back leg extended and have my leg extended all the way so my butt squeezes. I don't want to keep it short here. I want to go boom all the way with that back leg. Maybe get my foot as high as my butt cheek. Let's call that eight. Let's call it nine. I don't want to grab with the toes on the ground. That goes to a size. You should feel a good little stretch in the hamstring of the leg that's on the ground. All right, abs should get a little turned on here, not in a dirty way, um, but in an activation way. That glute of the leg that's floating should also get turned on because of that end range of motion, right? Because you're extending that leg all the way, last one, right? And we're just, just gonna jog in place for about 50. Not 50 seconds, 50 reps. Stretch in your glute a little bit. 
right? And the idea is to activate the hip flexors. All right, we open them up a little bit. Now we're gonna tell them to contract, all right? We're saying, hey, you've got a couple jobs to do. Do a couple of those jobs. Might have to add music after the warm up here. Last one. Good measure. There you go. Um, classic, we're in a wide stance. All right, we're gonna pull the toes of one foot off of the ground, right? That long leg, right? So I'm gonna pull the toes off, come back, pull the toes off. We'll do 10 side. I was talking to someone, and I posted a little bit about it on my Facebook, about recovery, and oftentimes, we think that our training, what equates to training is doing the heavy stuff or doing the physically hard stuff, where this in itself is hard to do, right? This, these types of movements, right? Because we decide to skip them a lot, right? And a lot of times this plays a role and how hard you can do the hard stuff. All right, it plays a role in how much of the hard stuff you can do. If my squat ain't pretty, and I decide to pick up that 50 pound ball, how well am I going to execute that in a safe manner? I'm not. Uh, butt kicks, right? We'll go 20 side and we'll run it. We'll run the butt kicks out of the next one. I'm not gonna execute that well because I didn't do the little stuff that allowed me the ability to grow into that movement. Let's go up five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go right into high knees, same thing. All right, knee goes higher than the hip, and we go. Torso to remain vertical. Eight, two more. Right. Well, my shin to remain vertical. If I can't make those things happen, I have to figure out how to address that exercise. Whether it's going slower, whether it's not crossing as far behind. So it's just, 
Every other one counts as one. yourself a second, get a drink of water, um, and then we'll get through this short, pleasant workout. So today, today we have pretty simple exercises. I right, got six exercises. Um, we're gonna go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off today. Very, very simple. It's not about killing yourself today. It's about moving, moving well, and then moving well again, right? Which will equate to a proper workout that's effective for you. Right? So it's not about killing yourself and hoping beating yourself up is gonna make you stronger somehow. It's about a specific demand in that 30 seconds that you do well and you reward yourself with a 30 second break and you do it again. Um, so we have six exercises, simple exercises. Toe taps, I'm gonna use the ball again. Um, plank to push up with a push up at the top. Um, and I'll show you within the 30 seconds uh, what that looks like. Uh, cross body mount climbers, a decline push up, which we haven't done yet, but it's, it's no different, right? Um, a transverse hop, which we have done, um, and this hinge to a chest opener. So there's six exercises. None of them are the worst exercises you've ever done in your life, but we can make them effective for us. So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna do 30 seconds for one exercise, 30 seconds break. 30 seconds the next exercise, 30 seconds break. So we'll go today in a circuit like that for all six exercises. Once we're done with the six exercises, we'll take about a minute and a half off and then we'll do them again. We're gonna do that three times today, right? Short workout, we should be done easily by noon, easily. All right, we'll have, we'll have some minutes to spare. Uh, let me, let me, I'm gonna, I don't wanna play Beaver today. You know, if I'm going to play today, I'm going to play the weekend radio. Not the weekend himself, because I don't necessarily like all of his music. I like music like his. Because it's already playing weekend, I'm about to skip him. All right, so toe taps is our first one. we got 30 seconds on. I screwed up, and I did not set my timer, but we'll do that right now. Obviously, you guys can see that I am not a uh, huge guy on precision. I want you to be precise in movement, but it doesn't have to be like da, 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 da. We ain't machines. We don't move like machines, right? We just try to move well. Feel the lights. I don't care if my finger hurt, could it get recognized? All right, so we got 30 on, 30 off. Toe taps is our first one. Kaleidoscope dreams. Of course, it's at two minutes, so I gotta hit this 90 times.
6. You guys ready? Only 180 more seconds. Just kidding. All right. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go, toe taps, find something. You're gonna touch the top of that thing that you found, right? Without leaning back, without getting on top of it, without not touching it, right? Lightly tap it. It's called a toe tap for a reason. Because you're lightly tapping that wall. The higher it is, the harder it is. Right? We got 30 seconds off, and we got our plank to uh, push up to push up. So you'll replace your elbow with your hand, right? On both sides. Then we're gonna do a push up. Then you go back down, right? Boom, boom. Do your push up. Then you go back down. All right, we're going five, four, three, two, one. Plank from the ground up. Back down. Next one, we're still on the ground, it's cross body mountain climbers. All right, so you're gonna pull that knee over as you go. It's only gonna get to about hip level and then come back down. You don't need it up here, because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna hike those hips up, we lose the abs. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Try to tap that top foot on the ground as well. That foot that comes in, tap that. About 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good. We're still on the ground. You might need to use a box, a ball, something. You're going to put your toes on it because we're going to do deep climb push ups. So, all you have to do is get your feet higher than your hands. That's it. Right? There is a grade of how high. Keep going higher, keep getting harder. Right? So, I'm just going to use this ball. Here we go. Some of you guys, if this is your first time doing it, you may need a break after one or two. The next one is transverse hop. All right, this is one we're gonna rotate our hop. So up to, if you wanna do one foot or two foot, we're gonna go here, hop to a corner, hop back to the middle, hop to a corner, hop back to the middle. If you wanna do it one foot, it's here, hop to a corner, hop back to the middle. All right, we'll do one side only. Here we go, I'm gonna do two feet. attention to how that jump happens. All right, should happen clean, and everything works together to produce that force. Everything works together to promote that landing. Good. What's our next one? All right, hinge to chest opener. This one, we've never done, okay? But, it's like that hinge that we did, 
All right, but we're gonna get super, super low. One foot behind the, the other foot. I'm gonna get super, super low. Arms are gonna go out in front of me here. I'm gonna hinge up. When that happens, arms are gonna go out and back. Boom. Here, here. Simple. You choose which foot's forward. We're gonna big old hinge. Push through that hinge. Pull the shoulders back. Since it's body weight, a lot of you guys are going to try to do this every day. Right? I don't want you to do it every day, but since that's what's probably going to be happening for a lot of people, I have to insert some of these days that are on the intensity scale. I need to vary that. Right? Because if your intensity is here every single day you work out, that's not going to fare well for you. It just, it won't. And I know. Uh, well, what do you mean? Why not? Well, because you increase the risk of injury because you don't give yourself a chance to recover and actually get stronger. Um, and you're just building a lot of bad habits into that kind of uh, regimen. All right. Ready? So taps. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Time for one more. And down. We're going to cross by the mountain climbers next. Tear us apart! Push up. All right. 
if you're finding that elevating feet puts a little bit more pressure on your wrist, elevate your feet less, okay? Find that happy medium where it doesn't hurt, but it still challenges you in that different way. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, we're going. Four, three. 
Two. Good. Plank. Two push up. Look for scorpions now. Scorpion hunter. Three, two, one, go. One. Good, good, good. Uh, cross body mount covers next. Meantime. Five seconds. Two, one, here we go. Try to quiet your upper body. Try to quiet how to try to make yourself short, right? While you move. Right? So short to the ceiling, not short in terms of your length. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one. Then we'll go right into deep on push ups here. In the meantime. to control this. Last one. Leave that alone. Change the top is next. Switch the legs out, switch the legs out. <sighs> 
Last one. <sighs> Guys, that was it. All right? 11.49. So, if you want to, have a seat or don't have a seat. Take your right arm, bring it across your left side. Flip it, left arm, bring it across the right side. Now, let's put our right arm, right hand on the wall, slightly behind us, and we're just going to walk towards the wall, facing forward. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So it starts behind you. I'm going to walk forward and in. Now, face your wall. Let's bring one leg back. The other leg is just going to be forward. We're going to try to kind of sit on that back leg. Let's get that uh, leg extended. And then here's a little trick. So this feels good, right? In this back calf. Right? It feels good. And it's stretching that calf in one dimension. Now, I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to bring it across and around. Now it stretches that calf in a little different way. It's a little, maybe it's a little less for you, right? But it's a little different. Now I'm gonna take that leg, I'm gonna open it up this way. Now it stretches that calf in a different way. Maybe it's a little bit longer on the inside. All right, but I want to get that calf stretched in a few different dimensions, right? Maybe it's forward, maybe it's back, maybe it's here, maybe it's opening. All right, so now I'm going to switch sides. Same thing on this guy. The other thing you can do, stretch that calf, turn your foot in. All right, that's a little different stretch. It's going to hit the outside more. All right, or turn your foot out. Same thing. You might be able to get a little bit further back. But you want to stretch that in a few different dimensions because that calf isn't flat and it doesn't just go here. That calf has substance to it and it moves in three dimensions. So I'm going to stretch it in as many dimensions as I can. So that's it for today. It's easy, guys. Easy, right? So have fun. Now you might have some energy to enjoy the rest of the day. If you do, awesome. Go do it. If you don't, this is a great workout. This is a great workout. That's all.